Hey, what's going on everyone? Matt Grimes here, and I, I never do tutorials, but I was editing this music video, and I did this little basic effect, and I thought that uh, people might be able to find it useful and, you know, use it on their projects. Um, what it is, is I used the distort tool to add this clip and make it look like this is what he was actually watching. But let me go ahead and play this uh, little part so you can see what we'll be doing. This is uh, this is the original footage right here. This is actually what he was watching was the Geico commercial, and I added this clip to make it look like this is actually what he was watching, and this goes along with the storyline of the music video. So to do this, let me just quickly duplicate this so I can keep my original, and I can just show you guys this. Also. Uh, you want to make sure up here in view that you're in image plus wireframe. I usually edit and just I usually edit just using the image, but for this effect, you want to be in image plus wireframe. And I'll go ahead and delete this clip so we start fresh, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Here's the uh, home footage that we used, and uh, you know you can just go through, figure out what clip you want to use. Uh, say you're in and out, drag it down, let me shorten this up a little bit, okay, so we have this clip, first off you want to make it a little bit smaller, double click it, come up here to the motion tab, here's the scale, I'm going to make it uh, probably about half, 50, and then you just want to move it up here to where the uh, TV screen is, and from here, you want to come down here to uh, your tools and down here the second to the bottom one this is what it usually is on is the crop tool but what you want to use is called the distort tool so you click that and then you can come up here and you come up to the edges and you can distort the image or the video and basically all it does is just morph and stretch out the image and uh, so you can get some cool effects like that but what we're going to do is we're going to be adding it obviously up to the corners of the TV something like that and this shot looks pretty good like this um, a couple things to keep in mind is uh, since this was a static shot it was just as easy to do it in Final Cut than any other program but if uh, you know let's say that the camera was moving it was like a dolly shot then you'd want to use a program like After Effects and do uh, you know set your track points on each edge and so that the program can track those points and then you'd be able to add your clip that way. But this is a static shot, so it's just as easy to do it here. Another thing to keep in mind: uh, the guy that filmed this music video, his name's Chris, by the way. He left me some room right here in between the talent and the TV. Left me that little gap right there so that I could do this effect easily. If he would have had his head overlapping the TV I would have had to mask out around his head which you know it would have just taken a little bit longer but uh, you know so that's just another thing you want to keep in mind hopefully you find that this is useful you'll be able to use it in some of your projects if you do send me a message with the video or uh, leave a video response I'd love to check them out if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comments box and uh, go ahead and subscribe to my videos and like this video I appreciate it alright thanks guys